Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you three different sandwich recipe, which you can make it for afternoon snacks or simply whenever you have a next time get together, you can make this as an appetizer and I'm sure everyone will love it. So let's get started. So the first one I'm making here is the bruschetta. Now bruschetta is the Italian appetizer and this is how the bread looks like. So basically this bread is uh, hard but it's not too hard. So I'm going to first cut that into small piece as well as I'm going to cut that into half. So basically we want to open up the bread. And uh, this appetizer I'll be making in oven. So my oven is preheating on 250 degree Fahrenheit. So then I'm going to go ahead and apply the basil pesto. Now this is the store-bought. Uh, again, you can use any kind of one that you like it. So I'm first going to go ahead and apply on bread. We don't need to apply any butter or anything before that. Um, just the pesto. And here I'm using blend of cheese. This is the Parmesan as well as Romano. And... Uh, you can use any kind of cheese that you like. You, uh, of course, Italian cheese is must for this. So mozzarella cheese is fine also, but combination of these two cheese give really good taste. And uh, I used to have this appetizer every time when we used to go to the local Italian restaurant. Um, so this is what they use and I'm making exactly like how they used to make it. So I put it in the oven for about five to seven minutes just to make sure that the cheese is melted. And here I do have the combination of uh, tomato, onion, cilantro, as well as a little bit uh, salt. And that's about it because cheese has a salt in it as well as the pesto has it. So we don't want to put too much salt on it. And that's about it. Our appetizer is all done. Actually, this appetizer, I made it uh, a couple of weeks ago when we had the guest over and they had the young kids. So this is what I made it that time and everyone loves it. So please, guys, do try it. I'm sure your kids will love it too. Second sandwich, which I'm making here is the flatbread sandwich. And this one, actually, I give it to my kids all the time at school. So here I'm using the spinach flavor one and this one has a 7 gram of protein in one of them. So of course it's super healthy for the kids. So I'm just going to basically go ahead and take one and this is the cheese I'm using. You can use any kind of cheese that your kids like it. And first of all I'm going to go ahead and open it and then I'm going to cut that into half. So we basically we'll just get a few triangles. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add those cheese on only one side of the flatbread. As far as the topping goes, you can add anything you like. But here I'm adding spinach as well as some onions. You can add jalapenos, fire roasted red peppers, banana peppers, cucumbers. Anything that you like it, you can just go ahead and add. I just don't like to add tomato because then tomato make it really soggy. So that's the only thing I always avoid it. But uh, this thing is really good if you want to give it to the kids for lunch. And uh, because there is it, it is high in fiber as well as the protein, it's keep them full for a very long time. So after adding all that, I'm going to go ahead and add some cheese on top. Again, you can use any kind of cheese that you like it. I'm using the mild cheddar cheese as well as the mozzarella cheese and uh, combination of both of that tastes really good. Next I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of dry oregano and some red crushed pepper. If you have the younger one, if they don't like spicy, you don't have to add it. But again, my kids take the spiciness very easily. So that's the reason I'm adding it. And I'm also adding a little bit of uh, black pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and close that and put that into oven on 250 degree for about 7 minutes. So at this point, I just want to make sure that all the cheese get melt. Now 
right after seven minutes i'm gonna take the wrap out and this is how it looks like so i'm just basically gonna go ahead and cut that into half and that's it friends our wrap is ready and especially when the kids come home after school if you serve this when it's nice and hot i'm sure they will love it because in this winter months this is so comforting Moving to the last recipe and that is the stuffed hot dog and I've been making this recipe for many years actually now especially whenever I had the kids friends over I make it and they love it. So first of all I'm gonna go ahead and melt some butter and then I'm gonna go ahead and add some chopped onions. I'm gonna go ahead and saute this for about five minutes and you just need to make sure that uh, you use the butter as well as don't melt the butter too much. Next, I will be adding some uh, different color peppers. Again, if you don't have this kind of one, that's fine. You can just use the green peppers and that should be okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add the manda, that is the all-purpose flour. And at this point, you want to make sure the temperature is on low and uh, we need to cook the manda first. So it's going to take about five to seven minutes. After that, I'm going to go ahead and add the milk. While you add the milk, you want to make sure you are keep stirring it and there should be any lumps in it. So at this point, again, the temperature has to be very low and you want to keep stirring it. Because of the all-purpose flour is there and you keep adding the milk in it, it is going to get thickened very quickly. But you want to make sure that everything is well combined as well as before you add the milk into it, the menda is fully cooked. So once I whisk it really well, make sure there is no any lumps in it. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt. And here my son is adding the black pepper. These are the freshly grind black pepper. And I'm using this hot dog bread. So as you can see, these are the whole grain bread. So of course, it's much better than the white bread and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and separate them first I'm gonna go ahead and open it and then we want to still take some bread out from the middle so that way we can stuff it properly and of course you don't need to throw that you can just use it and make the fresh breadcrumbs out of it Here I do have the melted butter which I'm going to go ahead and spread that onto the bread and I'm going to put this bread into the oven. So oven is preheating on 250 degree Fahrenheit. So once I put it in the oven, I'm going to leave it in there for about 5 minutes because at this point I want bread to be a little bit crunchy but not too much because the second time also we're going to put it in the oven. So just for 5 minutes, it's good enough. So that way when I put the stuffing on top of it, it's not going to get soggy as well as it will hold on to it. So as you can see, the edges got red and that's what we wanted. So now I'm going to stuff it with the stuffing that we just made it. And I'll use the onion as well as the pepper stuffing. You can use any kind of vegetables that you like it. You just want to make sure that you cut the vegetables very finely. And you can use the cauliflower, broccoli, green peas, whatever your kids like it, you can use it. After stuffing all the bread, I'm going to go ahead and put some cheese on top. So I'm using the mozzarella cheese here. You can use any kind of cheese that you like it, but I have always made it with this cheese. So that's what I'm using here. Again, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven for about 5 to 7 minutes just to make sure the cheese is melted. And that's about it. Our stuffed hot dog is ready. You can sprinkle a little bit of chili flakes or hot sauce on top and that also tastes really good. So this is it friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Leave the comments below. Let me know what other kind of recipe you want me to do. And uh, do try this recipe because all this is a 
truly try and tasted recipe so thank you so much again for watching take care and i will see you guys soon in my next video bye